What is going on guys? Liza over here at Ponder and Creations Farm coming at you with a new video today. We opened up the pond yesterday so I figured I would take you guys around and show you what that looks like and I wanted to show you some other things we've been doing on the farm for spring. So let's get right into it. Such a beautiful time of year. Normally in New England we could still be covered in snow right now so these couple of nice days are really a blessing to get out and get some projects done around here. Luckily this year we only had one fish casualty, so that was good. It was actually a sick fish that had been giving me trouble for probably like the past two years. He always had, you know, some kind of like algae on his head and I, no matter how many times we treated this pond, it didn't go away. So um, I guess it's kind of bittersweet that he's gone. Or she's gone. Kevin was able to get the pump going. I'll give you a little footage of that. And he cleaned up all the edges and the waterfall and paid someone actually to get rid of the fish. I'm the idiot. Wait, go, 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 go. It is inevitable everyone you always get some loss in the spring <laughs> yeah. such a beautiful time of year guys look at this witch hazel in bloom isn't it just amazing such a beautiful plant just want to make sure you guys know that we have a giveaway on this video so make sure you stay tuned till the end and we'll get into that for now let's go out front and see what's happening out in the garden we went really easy on the easter decor this year because we actually have tree work that's going to be happening soon from the town we did go ahead and put this birdhouse up but i hope nothing happens to it when the tree works. i'm going to link last year's easter video and our winter garden tour to the end of this video so you guys can see the changes that have been happening spring means maple syrup season is over and we got about three and a half gallons this year and we used a ton of these pallets all the garlic is starting to grow and the strawberries i've got the onions i see some raspberries starting to get some movement i planted parsnips for the first time over on this side where i usually do carrots that's a nice cool weather crop and this year, just because the weather has been so mild this spring, I was actually able to get a lot of stuff planted out here in the greenhouse. And I kind of just put these windows around just to stop some draft because we still do get some cool nights. But I figured if I do get a frost, I could actually cover this whole area also. Let's check on these fish. Everybody's looking good. I probably had about five or six casualties out of here. And they really look like they're starting to get ready to eat, guys. Can't believe how early everything is happening this year. It's like I'm just going to wait for the snow to start any second. Last night, this greenhouse was singing happy songs. And I already see some eggs, guys. Look at that. Are those your eggs? This year we have a lot more to do on the farm for spring because we have this big expansion happening and I'm actually going to save that for our next video. And it has to do with you, doesn't it? You guys are going to be getting lucky here real soon. You going to let me pet you today? Come here. No. It's only been three years, huh? Another thing that's been happening for spring is this garden has already been getting amendments and um, it's really looking good. We put some peat moss and perlite, um, compost, and we put some leaves in here and he started all up again and we still had knotweed coming in on this back fence. So we ripped that out. He got in there with the tractor and really got underneath. So now where the apple trees are here is gonna be a compost pile right next to it and just joined in with this garden. I've got a bit more cleanup to do in here, but we have some something coming to this little stall here later this week. So I'm excited. You guys will be able to see in the next video. 
Already for spring, we've cleared this whole area back here in order to access this stone pile. And this could be coming to a pond near you because we're gonna start using some of this material to build some ponds this season. And we have already been fencing in the woods for the goats and they're gonna have more than double the biggest area they've ever had. So I'm really excited to be able to give that to them. It is a lot of work at a busy time of year, so I'm really happy for these couple, you know, nice summery spring days we've been having. Okay guys, I wanted to get to today's giveaway. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you comment down below what your favorite thing about spring is. Easy as that. You also have to make sure you like us over on Facebook and Instagram so that you can message me your size and your address. Good luck in the giveaway. And here are the shirts, guys. Make sure you like this video, you're subscribed to our channel, and you gotta go over to Instagram and Facebook and follow us over there so you can message us your size and your address. You get to pick between these two colors. We'll see you guys next week where we have a huge surprise coming and a big reveal for what we're getting for animal, a new animal, or several. Fingers what crossed. What do you think, girl? What do you think? Are you happy?